All right, thanks for watching and welcome to another episode of our differential equation extravaganza. Today I will show you how to solve uh, equations with complex roots but in a correct way and for sake of simplicity let's just do y double prime plus 4y equals 0. If the auxiliary equation has a uh, real part as well it's almost the same technique but again just to keep simple let's do that and again it's based on the idea of a differential operator which I want to remind you dy is just another name for y prime d squared y is y double prime and i y is just y in particular, this differential equation, you can write in terms of differential operators. So d squared plus 4i, y equals zero. And I like to remind you y is a real solution. This will be very important in the end. And this thing now, we can just factor it out in terms of complex numbers. So it's d, let me just check. So it's d minus 2i, times d plus 2i, i, so two i's here, so there's an imaginary number and the identity operator, and d plus 2i, i, y, equals zero. And again, let's call this z, and notice because of the 2i, z will be a, um, what's called, a complex number, so a complex function. And then what we get is d minus 2i i z equals 0. i i captain 2 minus. <laughs> and then what we get is z prime minus 2i z equals 0. And then that becomes a differential equation. z prime equals 2i z. And um, this we can solve. You see, this is a constant. So we can still solve it using our usual techniques. So if you want z of t becomes a e to the 2it. And very important, this a, it's a complex number here, basically because z could be a complex function. So uh, in particular, if the derivative of a complex function is 0, then that function is a complex constant. So that's why a is a complex number. And then how can we find y? Well, we have, remember, d plus 2i i y equals z, and therefore y prime plus 2i y equals a e to the 2i t. And then I think all you do is multiply again by your integrating factor. So I think you uh, multiply by e to the 2it. So e to the 2it y prime plus 2i e to the 2it y equals a e to the 4it. And again, the left-hand side you recognize this as the Prada Lu. So you just have e to the 2it y prime equals a e to the 4it and therefore you just integrate so e to the 2it y so y equals so technically a over 4i e to the 4it plus some constant let's call it b but remember, a is a generic complex number, so a over 4i is also a generic complex number. So in other words, we can just replace this by a. So by just renaming it, if you want, a prime or something. And then what do we get? y of t equals a e to the 2it plus b e to the minus 2it. So here all I did, I just multiplied everything by e to the minus 2it. This is good, except remember that a and b, they're complex numbers. And those are complex functions. But y is a real function. So let's see how to deal with that. And the way you do this, well, a is a complex number. So write this as a1 plus ia2. 
e to the 2it, that's cosine of 2t plus i sine of 2t. And same with b, that's b1 plus i b2. And then cosine, so cosine of minus 2t, which is cosine of 2t. And sine of minus 2t, which is minus sine of 2t. So minus i sine of 2t. And then let's expand everything out and gather real and imaginary parts. So if you do that, you get a1 cosine of 2t. And then i and i, which is minus, so minus a2 sine of 2t. And then let's continue, plus b1 cosine of 2t. And then i and i, which is minus 1, so plus b2 sine of 2t. So this technically gives you your real part, which is huge, and then your imaginary part, plus i. So a1 sine of 2t. And then a2 cosine of 2t. And then minus b1 sine of 2t. And then plus b2 cosine of 2. So I'm sure you fast forwarded or something. So uh, <laughs> all you do, you expand out this expression and separate the real parts and the imaginary parts. Now, remember what is y? It's a real function. So y, you can write it as y plus zero. In particular, what we get is that the real part is the real part, and the imaginary part is the imaginary part. So in particular, we get this expression here, and we embrace the middle. So, ooh. One second. Uh, this big expression. Hello! And I'm back. Okay. <laughs> this expression here is just zero, and we get a1 sine of 2t plus a2 cosine of 2t minus b1 sine of 2t plus b2 cosine of 2t that equals zero. And the important thing is, we get that this function equals zero. So at every value, the, the identity is zero. In particular, if you plug in t equals to zero, you get a1 times zero, which is zero, plus a2 times one, so which is a2, minus zero, plus b2, equals zero. So, uh, a2 plus b2 is 0, so b2 is minus a2. And then for the second part, there are two ways of doing it. Either uh, plug in t equals, I think, to pi over 4 to get that this is 1, or my favorite, just differentiate and set t equals to 0. But let's do it the other way, I guess, uh, pi over 4. Then what we get? a1 times 1, which is a1. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Minus b1 times 1 plus b2 times 0, that is 0. And so indeed we get b1 equals to a1. Why is that important? Because remember, we still have our real solution. So now, if you compare real parts with real parts, you get y equals to this whole mess, but remember, we had all our identities here. So b1 is a1, and b2 is minus a2. So we can just replace this, b1 with a1, and b2 as minus a2, minus a2. And then, if you just gather or come, compare all the terms, what we really get is 2a1 cosine of 2t and then minus 2a2 sine of 2t. But remember, a1 and a2 are arbitrary real numbers, so if you want, just rewrite everything 
and we get a cosine of 2t plus b sine of 2t. And that's it. That is your solution of your equation, and those are indeed all the solutions there are because we started by assuming we have a real solution and then we just took the real part of both expressions. So the real part of y is y, our original solution, and then the real part of this is just this, which is our solution. So those are indeed all the uh, solutions to this equation. And if you have some real root of your uh, uh, auxiliary equation, then it's just a combination of the two methods I presented. Uh, all right, so I hope you like this little differential equations excursion. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.